WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday. This is the last day of November, November the 30th. And what we're looking at is the Dow's down 300 at 34,841, made a lower low. It's in leg E to the downside and uh, sell mode. And this weekly chart, we're watching it real close as it stands right now. The weekly chart technically is in a sell signal. We'll see on Friday whether it remains there or gets or accelerates to sell mode. We're looking at the S&P. The S&P at this particular moment is down uh, 22 at 46.32. Had a really good day yesterday after this spectacular plunge on Friday. Uh, but And it went above, but it didn't close above the nine period moving average. I suspect that what we're looking at, that weekly chart is telling us that there should be a sideways consolidation unfolding. We'll see what happens. If there's a trade in the 46, uh, I would put it 46.73 area, I have to consider that that's really good action. So far, 46.32 is what we're looking at. We're looking at the QQQ, NDX 100. Uh, this is very interesting because the QQQ, um, is at 400.35. It's up 60 cents. Uh, it's it's making a nice comeback. The high of 408.71, the 22nd, the all-time high, made a peak D. Did see a sharp fall to the 389 level. This is good action. We'll see if this is able to continue. The weekly chart hasn't done anything yet in terms of turning down, so holding very well. The IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, has been very weak with the Dow. It's weak today, not as weak as the Dow, funnily enough. It is at 220, the lowest 219.64 three days ago. It's holding a little bit above that. Not a very good looking chart pattern, and that weekly chart is in a sell mode. Let's go to gold. Uh, gold at this particular point is up uh, 21 at 18.06. This is good action because it had to use this Chapman Wave inside track propellant line as a springboard to move higher. I think it's actually in a trading range right now. And if you put that together with the BTC, which is the Bitcoin, which I'd say to subscribers that we must expect that it's going to be coming down and then just going sideways, doing nothing for a little while. That's interesting because Bitcoin's up just a little bit. And look at crude oil. Crude oil is pulling back. Sharply is down 2.43. The TLT we'll talk about when I get back from my Tiger Technician Tower is up sharp as the yields are coming down. That's impacting the bank sector. I'll be back for the Tiger Technician Tower. Check out both for my daily newsletter. We'll be back.